The way I perceived the scripture was like, it gave me like a yearning to like be with the Lord. Like I'm like, I don't want to be here. Like when I read that, I'm like, that, that's like beautiful, you know, like what we're going to, it kind of like motivates me to overcome whatever I'm going through just to get to that point, you know, like, that's how I perceived it. And it's, I think, when I think about all the nations gathered, like, that's beautiful to me. And then I think when I heard the, um, was it Revelation song? I think about that, too, because I know Revelation song came from Revelation. The song that they were playing, they played it today at church, yeah. The third song they played, the last song they played. But the third was in there for We Need You? Huh? We Need You? No, Revelation, it's called Revelation, it's like, um... Word is the lamb that was slain. Holy, holy, holy is the oh, yeah, Lord God Almighty. Oh, yeah, I love that song, Almighty. Revelation song, but song by Carrie Jolie. No, it's the one that goes... Love, no, I mean, no, that was after. Actually, no, I'm talking about the one before that. Oh, yeah, I was still in school. I came during this. Oh, you can't. Oh, okay. I came. It goes like, Holy, holy, holy <laughs> is the Lord God Almighty who was and this and this to come with all creation. I sing praise to the King of Kings. Like, it goes like that. And, and like, it makes me think a lot about that scripture. And, and the writer, when she was, she was talking about, saw the YouTube video about what she said, she said that. She, she said that she felt that a lot of songs out there were about like, I, I, me, me, me. And she said we, there really needed to be a song that just praised the Lord. And that's why she wrote a Revelation song. It's um, based on Revelation. Have you ever heard the song about 50 Cent called God Gave Me Style? No. What about Kanye West, Jesus Walks? That's my favorite. Really? Yes. <laughs> it's like, that's, the interest, that's, the, that's the most positive song he ever made in his entire career. <laughs> but it was like, you know, God Gave Me Style, God Gave Me Grace. And he was like... I remember one of, the, one of the comments that he got, that the video got was, this is how you know God is real, 50 Cent is talking about it. Really? Oh my wow. God. Wow. What that got to do with drug pushing? How, 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 was, I, I mean, how was he hustling and get that too? I mean, honestly, in a, in a way, I, 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 I kind of give it to him in a way that he has that kind of credibility. But I felt like at the same time, a person who could really think that, it must be really, really, like, I hate to say it, but ignorant. You yeah, but that's how a lot of people are. And that's unfortunate because I feel like people could be a lot smarter than what they are. Hey man, but keep throwing people. That's like, what we're here. Looked at as one of the most ignorant presidents we have, and yet he got got into that. Country. And he went to Harvard and got an MBA. Who? He, Bush. Bush. He went to Harvard Business School. Who? Which Bush? George Bush. Ah, oh, former George president. Bush. Daddy paid for him, please. Of course, but he still went. Yeah, right. I think he passed with like a two point something GPA at one point. <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> That's crazy. I'm about to get a 1.9. Oh, Lord, it's cold. But enough about George Bush. Yeah, it's pretty What else is the guys uh, get out the way? Let's just talk about I got uh, out of the word. I got the word out of the word. <laughs> I just got to stay consistent and get in the word now. <laughs> I, I need to, yeah. It's like, you know, they, I only really use Tumblr for one reason. Mm -hmm. I usually, you know, you know the new website Tumblr, it's like a, like, it's like its own version of Twitter. Uh-huh. Except, the only reason I use it is I actually pick a Bible scripture, the audio, and I upload it, do that part, and I'm done, and I sign out. Really? Sign out. There's nothing else to do. Yeah. I mean, like, you know, I thought about, there was a time where I was struggling with, like, because I have a blog site, but I get paid for writing. I thought that, and I was actually struggling if I should put the Bible up there. Because I wanted to get paid for God's work. And then it's like, you know, he already did it. So it's like, for me, I was like, you know, for a while, I didn't do it because I wasn't so sure. But then, but then again, came, but then came Tumblr. There you go. Solution right there. Well, you know, God says that those who, those who, those, those that work shall eat. No, I mean, like, no, I mean, I'm doing the work. Don't get me wrong. I'm eating, yeah. But it's like I don't like because the thing is, my block site is a paying site. <coughs> so, so whatever, like the content you put up, you, you actually get paid for it per, per click. So it's like, it's like you're almost using God just to get the money. Okay. So I went to t Tumblr, which I'm not getting paid for. So it's like, you know, I did that part. Do it for free then. Might as well. I would do it. I, I mean, if I could go to a website and get paid to do it, I would. I would do it. But my motive would be 
a lot better. Now it's because you know? I have my the thing is I have some doubts about what what, what I should do. No, okay, so I took myself true. completely out of it. So I took. Oh, I understand. I understand. Okay, yeah, I guess you both got the same thing. Sorry, got Chappelle. I'm thinking about Chappelle show. They hear Chappelle. Oh, how was that holy? I don't know. I said woogie boogie. I started thinking about Chappelle. <laughs> <laughs>